how to use LinkedIn Live and how to apply for LinkedIn Live. Hey, this is Chris Cosolino, the co-founder and head of services at Uptown Creation. If you watch any of my other videos or if this video helps you out, give it a like and subscribe to this channel because that really helps us out. So this video is going to be about LinkedIn Live and how to get access to it and then how to stream using it. So the first thing with LinkedIn Live is it's not open to everybody on the platform. You actually need to apply to it. But from what I've experienced, most people that apply are able to get approved within a couple of weeks. So I'll put a link in the description to the actual application, but I'll go ahead and just share what it is because it's really, really easy to do. So basically, you'll go to this page. Then again, the link is in the description of this video, but you'll put in your email address, which will already be populated. You'll choose member since you're applying for a member page rather than a business page. Then what you'll do is you'll go to your LinkedIn profile, take that URL and copy it into the application. And then the final thing that you'll have to do is turn on two-step verification. You can click the settings button and it'll take you right to the place to do it. They just want to make sure your account is secured and not able to be hacked. And then the final step is choosing North America. You can skip this bottom half if you're not doing it based off of a business page. If you are, you'll have to list the other business admins that you want to get access, but most people are going to be doing this on their member profile. And then you'll just hit submit and you'll wait a couple of weeks and LinkedIn will get back to you just like they would any other support ticket. So that's really the basics of getting your application in. Now, once you get your application in, LinkedIn has some resources on how to actually go live. It's a little bit different than other platforms because you can't choose to go live using LinkedIn itself. You need to hook it up to a third party partner essentially that allows you to stream. And that's really just from a functionality standpoint, since LinkedIn Live is, is technically still in its beta testing, they don't have that functionality built in. So you have to use a third party like StreamYard is what I use personally. Um, but there's some other partners as well. So if you choose one of their preferred partners, so you can see Restream, Social Live, StreamYard, Switcher Studio, then you'll integrate your link your LinkedIn with it. So you'll hook up LinkedIn and then you'll be able to go live from there. They have a lot of best practices that you're able to follow. So I think it's worth going through some of those best practices right now. So they talk all about, you know, being prepared, being authentic, the normal things that you would expect with content creation, but there's some unique things. So for one, LinkedIn doesn't want you to do a LinkedIn Live about LinkedIn. So that's one of their rules. Another rule is they don't want you to have a long starting screen. So you can't have an image up there saying starting soon for an excessive amount of time. You know, you can't have that for 30 minutes or an hour or anything like that. Some other caveats are that you can't or you, they say you shouldn't go live more than once a day. While you can technically, they say that you shouldn't because every time you go live on LinkedIn, people are gonna get a notification and they don't want you to spam their audience essentially or spam your audience and make it so people either unfollow you or unconnect with you. So as a best practice, it's good to limit it to once a day or less. But with that being said, being consistent, I think is really, really, really important. So if you choose to go live, once a week, then try to go live once a week. If you choose to go live once a month, then really focus on going live once a month and making it be a predictable schedule. The last point that I'll talk about is making sure that if you go live to do so for, you know, at least 10 to 15 minutes, because that's going to allow people to, you know, get the notification that you're live, join the room, and then actually be able to engage back and forth with you. So, Consistency, the timing being at least 10 to 15 minutes so you can really get that audience in and actually uncover the topics that you're talking about. And then being authentic and just really trying to have a discussion, bring in the audience that's watching live, but also 
make sure that you are being interactive enough. So I think a really good way for people that are just starting off and the way that I personally use LinkedIn lives is I treat it like a podcast. So I'll invite people to be on LinkedIn live with me, which gives me somebody to talk to. It gives me a reason to be doing a LinkedIn live, but also provides a ton of value to my audience because they're meeting somebody new, but also to that person that I'm interviewing and bringing on, you know, they're able to get a lot more eyeballs on themselves and a lot more attention. So it really leads to a productive conversation that can be engaging since you're already talking to somebody that is with you on video, but then you can bring in the comments that are coming in um, from the people who are watching it live and asking questions in real time. And it's a really fun dynamic for that reason. That's one of the biggest strengths of LinkedIn Live and any live platform is that you're able to engage with your audience and you're able to you know, have those real time interactions back and forth. So once you go through the process of applying, go through choosing a third party, which is a lot easier than what it sounds, it's really just going to a website, making an account, and then linking up your LinkedIn profile, and you never have to think about it again. And then following some of those best practices, you'll want to just make sure to distribute that content. So you'll be able to look at kind of the analytics that LinkedIn gives you, You'll be able to see the types of people by their titles who are viewing your videos and use that as a way to kind of gauge the topics to talk about and everything like that. So like I said, I provided a link to the application in the description below. I'll also provide a link to these best practices and they actually have a PDF that you can download as well, as well as a producer's guide that'll give some little tips and tricks from like a setup standpoint, you know, having a good microphone, having a decent camera, which most people have anyways, just with the remote work and the remote life that everybody's so used to. So feel free to drop any specific questions about LinkedIn Live that you have in the comments below. Let me know if this was helpful. Let me know any future topics. And like I said, the best way that you can support us is giving this a like and subscribing to our channel because that's kind of the free currency that we're able to trade. So if this video or any other one has helped out, that helps us out a ton. And until next time, 